Hi, Cancer. Welcome. I still have to bite my tongue. Um, welcome to my little apartment in New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm back. I took a week to sort of rest and repair myself and I'm um, doing my best to get the readings out because I'm literally giving all my stuff away as much of it as I can. Uh, I don't want to carry the past with me because that phase of my life is over. And that's what we're going to talk about, Cancer. Something mystical has changed. So, um, we just came through the eclipse in Scorpio, the new moon. Holy cow, something happened. Seriously. Whatever the epic battle that you've been involved in, and you have been involved in an epic battle, no doubt in anybody's mind, if you've been watching my readings over the last year, holy cow, it's been intense. It's completely changed. A literal sea change, pun intended. All right, let's jump into it. If you want to stick around, if you want to know a little bit about my news, um, hang with me till the end, and I'll tell you what I'm doing, okay? Besides giving away furniture. I don't know if you can tell. It's <laughs> a lot of stuff that's gone already. Okay, so, Cancer, oh my God, how much do I love you? I got to spend some time with a beautiful, incredible soulmate of mine who is a Cancer Scorpio over the last couple of days. This describes that visit. I want you to look deep into this illustration and notice the numerology it adds up to five. That is about profound change. The fives are always about change coming forward. Cancer, you have come to the surface of yourself, your energy, your being. And I'm, I'm feeling it like I can feel the emotion of release and the ability to come to the surface and take a giant breath in order to be able and become ready to dive down to the deep again in a way that is completely joyful. Whale is the swimming library that holds ancient mystical knowledge. We see the star in whale in this card because the whale medicine people are believed to have arrived here from the dog star, Sirius. The earth needs, whatever it is that you have inside of you, and you really do, please don't doubt it. You carry ancient prophecy. You carry love energy. In your physical form, and you're involved in the way love energy cycles through the planet. There's a long dissertation. I won't go into it. You're going to be more clairvoyant. Your frequency is uh, changed. Something literally has changed. Whales, like elephants, communicate with frequency on the unseen pathway of communication. You're going to have dreams. You're going to have visions. You're going to feel the change in your energy. Just be prepared, right? You've probably always had the capacity many whale people do not know. The depth of their clairvoyance and their intuitive nature. It's way more uh, than being an empath. Way more. Light years, my guides are saying, okay? So we're going to talk all about that journey. There's your chakra card. Of course it's about your heart cancer. What else would it be about? There it is. Okay, my guides want me to show you together. They want, they're, they're chattering in the background about driving home the point. It's really, really important that you take up this message. Okay? Do your best to be joyful. I know you're in transition. I see it. But you have won a battle against the beast. Those words have come out of me many times over the last year. We've talked about the tower card, the death card, the ten of swords, the ten of wands, the devil, over and over and over and over. Epic battling. And now you find yourself, if I can get this to stand up, there. The battle's over. Sit in a meditative state. Allow the energy of change 
to just rise to the surface. Crack open your heart. The numerology is 11. You now have the capacity to partner in a way that you have not had for some of you in your whole life, maybe because of addiction, maybe because of dysfunction, maybe because of things inside of you that, you know, traumatic childhood, there's a zillion things, right? And we do our best. And when you come into this world and you have those kinds of challenges and you're the water bearer, technically, I know, it's technically it's wrong, but point made, cancer, the cardinal sign that represents the embodiment of love energy in this life, in the time of Pluto in Capricorn, when everything is being destroyed. An epic battle, to be sure. I'm an earth sign with a stellium of water in my chart. So please, as I always insist, go and learn about your chart. You're going to understand your journey. You're going to and understand yourself. You're going to understand your nature as an energetic being because your frequency is reaching its capacity in order to participate and help all the rest of us participate in the massive change that's about to happen. We have six more months under the weight of Pluto. And as an earth sign, I'm here to testify. I've been through a similar thing. Pluto has ground my life into dust and cause it to disappear. Everything that I have built. There's a good reason for that. I'm lucky. I get to understand it. You've been battling. Let's talk about it. So the theme of the reading the renewer of devotion. This is the judgment card. In the typical tarot deck, you will see the angel blowing the trumpet, awakening the dead. This is the massive amount of change. You are being reawakened. Whatever that battle was about that caused you to feel dead, that caused you to lose all your energy, that caused you to not be able to live your life, my guys just said, with veracity, it's over. You are in the sacred bowl of healing and shift and change. Your soul, through virtue of having that epic battle, has finished the triple spiral of your soul contract. And because you have finished that journey, your soul is made free to go on to the next phase of your existence. Those days are over unless you choose to re-engage with whatever that was. So while you're in there getting a buff and shine, going into the mystical hut of renewal, that's literally the card for cancer. I love this so much, I have no idea. Oh gosh. The mover of energy moves forward based on their frequency, their energy, their power. It's not about the horses. The horses are just a representation. Do you see the new growth? Look at that. You're moving forward, Cancer, in a way that even three months ago, it looked like it was impossible. But you've really, literally been freed. Look, where's the card? I just wanna show you. It's reflected all through this. It's Fabulous, look, Cancer, congratulations and thank you because I think it was not easy, whatever it is you were going through. So you've come to the surface, now you are able to mind melt with the universe in order to manifest destiny that comes up, that's been riding with you through your entire lifetime, deep under the ocean of your experiences. And for a lot of cancer, it's about fear. It's about hesitation. It's about imbalances in love. That's what you're here to help us all resolve. The moment has come. I just, it's hard to talk about it without bursting into tears, honestly, because this, I understand, this has implications for every person walking the planet because of what you have done, cancer. Thank you doesn't even begin to express how I feel about this. Incredible.
So while you're all up in yourself, mind melding with the I am consciousness in order to bring forward the destiny of humanity embodied within you, the universe is here to help you in all these ways. That is the queen of pentacles in this mystical deck. She is the sacred grandmother. And what she does is she sits on her starry loom. Did I do it backwards? Yes, I did. And she is looking into your desires as you express them and begin to take the decisions to bring them forward because you are an expression of the universe. Your desires matter. Remember that. Never forget that. Obviously, you have to do it with a pure heart and pure intentions and all that kind of stuff. But the universe is watching you literally and weaving together your destiny in response to your desires to grow. That is the dreamer of growth. Wow, Cancer, seriously. I want to say words that are a little naughty, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> look. You see? You look, look at what you did. You manifested the end to this battle. And you won because you're a cardinal sign. Okay? You, you literally, in a David and Goliath way, killed the hound. Right? So my guides are giving me pictures of things like um, Lord of the Rings and those kind of epic sort of sci-fi future past epic journeys. Okay, there you are. Looking like a little hobbit. Are you tattered up? Yes, you are. That was a pretty intense battle. You won. You might not even know how you got through whatever it was that you got through. But you have been. For at least 18 months. That's funny because this is on the surface of the deck that's sitting next to me. You have done battle with the beast. I have said the words. We have talked about it so many times from every direction. And the devil card, and the devil card, and the devil card. It kept coming out. You're done now. You're done. So, allegorically, this is what you've been battling. Your broken cup, your broken heart. For some of you, your broken life, that's your belief about it or your experience of it. Dysfunction in love, the inability to hold love energy in your life, in your heart, in your vessel. Because of all the lies and all the deception, all the things that make the chalice break and cause it to have an unstable base. That's you. This is what you had to come through. So this is done unless you should decide to be resisting what is being offered to you and to go back into that place. Please don't do it. <laughs> but begging you, please don't do it. Okay, gang, that's where it's at. So in your human life, you are the star card, the dreamer of growth, and your dream is about your chalice because you are the embodiment of the ace of cups the chalice of love on a soul level look whoo boy mm. my heart chakra is just pulsating there's so much emotion there you go in your new state of being you will choose your path that's what you're dreaming about anyways Dreaming about healing your vessel, your chalice, so that you can go forward on this new soul journey. You are renewed. You get a new life. You get a new choice. You get a new path. You get to create it. What do you see? Okay? So that's the lover's card. It is about the sacred connections that you have in your life and your ability from this point forward to choose what it is and perhaps who, right? We, we have to acknowledge this is the sacred lover. So there's somebody in your life, maybe your sacred partner is going to experience you in a way never before seen inside the relationship. Maybe that person has been given to you to stimulate all of this. 
And depending on what you believe, that's what a soulmate, a, qu a quantum partner, a twin flame, that's what those people are for. To cause us to awaken by annoying the crap out of us often, right? So this woman, I want you to look at her headdress. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Look, do you see that there are swastikas on it? That is about the turning of sacred feminine energy that brings change and creation. All creation comes out of the feminine intention of the universe. And so it is fitting that she has many choices and she will choose her pathway based on that which she can devote herself to and nothing else. It's just the way it works, my guides are saying. So you're going to experience yourself in that sacred feminine place in your heart chakra bursting open because a new soul journey is here for you literally a new soul journey within one lifetime pretty dang good for you cancer i like it so sit right in that spot when your heart cracks open and you feel this healing over the course of the month of june do this you don't have to do anything just be in the middle of the energy let it swirl around you and bring forward this shift and change that's coming. There may be some lack of clarity about what am I doing and where I'm going. Believe me, I'm sitting right in the middle of it. I'm an earth sign with fire rising, but I have a stellium in water in my chart. My, okay, my guys are chattering now about my chart. <laughs> Sorry, I started that. Uh, they're saying, for example, look, they want you to examine your chart. My guides, if you've been following along, they always say it, right? I have Venus in Cancer in my fourth house of home. Can you imagine the change that I'm going through having come out of Moonrise Cottage? Wow. Talk about a tower moment, right? But here's what's happening for all of us water babies. That's the sacred magician. When you choose your pathway of devotion, perhaps to a lover, I think it really it's speaking about you and you, your relationship with yourself. Clearly there's somebody in your life, in the background, stimulating you forward energetically. That mysterious feminine energy that's within all of us will be activated a choice will be made. When the choice is made, the energy is given to the male energy in order to activate the choice and move it forward. That is the magician. In this deck, the magician is the decider of will. It's this, the whole reading is so perfectly aligned. It blows my little mind, honestly. Something big is happening, Cancer. And I've probably said it, but you're changing the destiny of this planet. In the moments just before the end of the cycle, the season, the year, we call it the year, there will be another series of eclipse events. Pluto is about to move into Aquarius, the planet of expansion. You have been prepared for, to participate. And the way to participate is by taking up this gift inside yourself, inside your life. Look. Oh, gosh. I think I didn't say it, but I'm going to take a picture of the cards and put it on the community tab on my channel. Please go peer into these images. That is the temperance card. It is about healing. It's about alchemy. Alchemy. The ability to have a mystical change. Temperance, literally. Look those things up if you don't really know what they are. Your energy is being given to Coventina, the sacred goddess of alchemy, in order to help your new form solidify and become available. Right now, thank you, Spirit, it's kind of like that. All the energy, all the frequency, all the shift and change is just 
what just whirling around you might feel it while you're being extraordinarily clairvoyant and every other thing that's happening you're going to be able to communicate in a nonverbal way just fyi it's going to happen i do it all the time as part of what i've had to understand about myself i think you're going to start having these experiences to be able to literally communicate Utilize your energy to bring manifestation, something new. You're coming into your power. And because you're a cardinal sign, there's the rationale for all of that. So here's the outcome. When you come into solid form in this new state of being, having finished a soul circuit, your soul is made free to begin again. And so you shall, my guides are saying. That is the King of Cups, Cancer. You see yourself? Look, look, you will be exploring to find your path forward. That is the king of art, the art of loving. King Lu, the path finder. Just in time for Pluto to move into the water bearer energy of expansion and you because you're a cardinal water sign you're bringing all the factors of that choosing destiny choosing what you're going to devote yourself to choosing in such a way that prepares you to participate in the change that's coming and literally carry the energy of the water bearer into the change that's what you're doing philosophically i want to be really clear about it people don't see themselves i see it because i'm lucky enough to have the gifts that i have it's the experience i just had with my dear friend who's a cancer a scorpio rising what a life path that person has had it's done You've been released. I don't know how you did it, Cancer, because it was intense, and it did kick your ass, but you did it, okay? Take credit for yourself. Get in the bowl. Get a little buff and shine. Go have a massage. Get some Reiki, uh, and keep doing it for the next six months, and really be ready into the realm of the water bearer. Given everything that's going on in the world, we really need you to be available to perform this service, okay? So inside your own life, for all the reasons already stated, it's going to be about partnership. Partner with the universe. Partner with yourself. In order to have a stable partnership, both parties have to be able to stand in the center of their own power. They have to be powerful. They have to be solid. My guides are talking about the realm of the wands, okay? Power, passion, creation. That energy displayed by a water sign person creates the ability to partner at the midpoint and still be the lightning rod for spirit so that energy can come in, mix with whoever your partner is while you're both standing in your power in your center and drive that energy into the earth. Those are the kinds of things that are chattering from my guides today. But Cancer, uh, that's where you were, okay, for a long time. Really sorry, it was hard as hell. I watched a lot of people go through it, but it's done. It's really done. Have a wonderful month. Sit in the energy. Just sit in it. You don't have to do anything. Allow the transition to happen. Let it come into solid form. Thank you, Spirit. Let it come into solid form. There's a process going on. Okay? So the heart expansion can happen. So that the real you, the real you, can come straight to the surface. And to deliver whatever these messages are. Thousands of years, eons, literally, across the galaxy. You arrived here with them and coded into your cellular, cellular memory. I believe that 100%. And now, my cats are giving me memories. There used to be an old newscaster, and he was on the radio. His name was Paul Harvey. And they're playing it, and 
and that's the rest of the story, you know, that kind of a thing. There you are. There you are. That's the display of your male, female, yin, yang energy. Understand yourself, Cancer. Celebrate. This is gorgeous. I will look forward to seeing you on the flip side. Okay. So when it comes to me and my, my little story, um, a lot of change, kind of like this. I'm doing my best to just celebrate it while I'm finishing my grief process and uh, giving away all my stuff. I came back here to move out and give most of my stuff away. I don't need it anymore. And uh, I'm going to be traveling over the summer. I'll do my best to get some rest stops so that I can do the readings. But I can't promise and I don't want to because I need to be free for a while. I've been... Uh, sequestered in Moonrise Cottage for a long time. So I'm going to be celebrating by moving myself around and I'm my dream. Okay, now they're playing uh, the song from Les Miserables. They're funny sometimes. Okay, so my dream is to be able to go out into the world next year and to be with the people that have brought forward soulmate connections, quantum partner connections, through virtue of Moonrise Cottage, so that we can show you what we see that you can't see, or that many people can't see. I don't want to erase that spirit. You know what I'm talking about. To move beyond the just sort of doing readings, there's more to be known. I see it evolving. I want to share it with everybody. So we'll see. I don't know how that's going to happen. I just asked the universe and I assume it's coming. All right, gang. So uh, thank you for your patience and your love and your support in all of this massive shift and change. We're all going through it. So let's just, let's just do this. <laughs> thank you, spirit. Let's just do that. Okay. If I don't show up for readings, understand this. I'm out there, and I'm sending you some energy. All right, Cancer, thank you. I'll look forward to seeing you uh, hopefully in July, and if not, on the flip side. Thanks, Cancer.